Hotel Echo Lima Lima Oscar. Good evening, live and direct from London, England. Or should I say London South England? Or should I say South London, England? Once I start talking <laughs> properly. This is your host, your guy himself, the one and only and truly DLG Repping, short for Dele London Gunas Space, Romeo Echo Papa Papa Indigo November. For those of you that are watching for the first time and new, remember that name. Right. Um, I want to get onto a bit of a head, one bit of headline. And um, get onto the gossip column, which is the re reason why I'm doing this. Before I start off, yeah, make sure you smash the thumbs up like button in abundance. Share this channel all over virally, yeah, all over the world, especially to your friends and your relatives, yeah. If you've got an opinion, um, a, a message, a thought, just leave it in the comment section below where positive feedback is meant to be. As far as I, the LG Reppin is concerned. And smash that subscribe button for me, left, right and centre. Galore, but passionately. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. Why can't I do it? I know I can do it. Do you believe in me? I'm sure you do. So smash that subscribe button for me. So, um, the headline that um, I've just um, picked on today is um, about Ruben Neves. And according to his boss, he's worth a hundred million pounds. Really? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to delve into this one. And then I'm going to go into today's um, gossip column and see what's um, gossip about for the summer. So that recipe is cooking up nicely now. So I look, I look forward to the summer transfer window as a football fan. As an Arsenal fan, I don't look so forward to it. But there you go. Anyway, um, as it says in yellow, as it's written in yellow writing as a head title, Neves worth 100 million suggests Wolves boss Bruno Large. Wow, I couldn't make this one up. Wolves midfielder Ruben Neves is worth 100 million. Boss Bruno Large has suggested. Then um, what is someone like Bruno Fernandes worth then? Marco Verratti. Uh, what about um, Paredes of Paris and Jamal, Verratti's teammate? How much are they worth then? Then how much is Kevin De Bruyne worth then if he's worth 100 million? You know? What has he done? What, what has he done to be worthy of a 100 million price tag? And I'm talking spectacular. I'm talking inspirational I mean yes he scored great rate great long range goals I get that he's a dangerous player from when from 20 odd yards I get that Joe Martino if he was 25 26 I would class him um a lot more valuable than Neves Neves is a very good midfield player I get that but not worth 100 million anyway reading on Portugal International Neves has been linked with several clubs, including Barcelona, Liverpool and Manchester United. The 25-year-old, who is contracted to Wolves until 2024, has scored four goals in 31 appearances for the Midland club, for the Midlands club this season. I don't know if Manchester United or other teams... What I know is we have a special player with us. Yeah, he is. He is their special player, you know. It's a shame that he badmouthed Arsenal for over celebrating. Well, we had a situation um, develop develop against us in that game, and we were down to ten men away from home. You can imagine it was all pump, all pumps, all hands on pumps, should I say, etc. And he's come up with a comment like that. Well, he should have kept his mouth shut at the time. Um, for me. There are better midfielders out there that are worth more. Um, wow. Tony Cruz, how much is he worth then? That's another name I can throw into the hat. If you feel that um, 
Neves is worth 100 million or not, <clears throat> talk to me in the comment section below. Let's have a conversation. All right. I'm going to end it and just go for the transfer um, gossip column. And um, let's start off with the sun. The first page, of course, as I always do. Start off with the first page because it says here, if Ajax head coach Eric Ten Hag is appointed Manchester United manager as expected, he will pursue the signing of Portugal midfielder Uber Neves from Wolves. Well, just I was just um, reading about him just now and his manager um, believes that he is worth £100 million. I don't think he's worth that amount of money. Dutchman Ten Hag also wants to bring 20-year-old Ajax and Netherlands midfielder Jurian Timba with him to Old Trafford. Well, this is a player that um, he has brought up through the youth um, academy, so he would know a lot more about Jurian Timba than any one football fan up and down Europe. Reading on. According to the Express, the Austrian FA has denied meeting current Manchester United boss Ralph Regnick over the managerial vacancy with the men's national team. Right, let's keep moving. Liverpool view Villarreal's Netherlands winger Arnold Danjuma as a potential replacement for 29-year-old Senegal forward Sadio Mane, but the Reds are not expected to make a bid until 2023. Well... Seems strange. Why can't they make the bid now? And, and, wait, and why wait till 2023? If Liverpool need to strengthen their front three for the foreseeable future, then possibly he could be part of that plan. They got them Luis Diaz. If you look at um, what, they're, what they're signing now, Luis Diaz, Jota, um, they've been given the go-ahead to sign Fabio Cavallio from Fulham. So Liverpool are looking ahead in the future as well as the present, with Mo Salah, Firmino and um, Sadio Mane. Yeah, you can obviously sense that Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp are planning it, um, planning life without um, the trio, the famous trio who are rate so highly. I mean, planning life after the tr famous trio. Did I say that right? Anyway. Brighton have no plans to sell goalkeeper Robert Sanchez amid interest from Newcastle in the 24-year-old Spain international. Well, he has been a very good goalkeeper in this Premier League and for Brighton as well. And I don't think um, Robert Sanchez will want to leave Brighton. I could be wrong here. Brighton fans, um, do you see yourself keeping hold of your um, goalkeeper for next season? Leave it in the comment section below. The agent of Chelsea and Germany forward, Timo Werner, has been in Italy meeting with AC Milan, Juventus and Atlanta. Now, that I kind of um, believe because I don't think it's happened for him in the Premier League. I don't think he's um, ever got to settle down as, as much as he would like to. Um, hasn't been nowhere near prolific for Chelsea and that's where they uh, want to cry out for a new striker and Timo Werner may not be part of their future plans as from where I'm sitting. Anyway, moving on, Arsenal, Everton and Newcastle United have all expressed interest in signing 28-year-old Memphis forward, Netherlands forward, Memphis Depay from Barcelona, Super Deporte. Well, I can only assume that um, he's falling down the pecking order and... Um, He's open to returning back into the Premier League like unfinished business. So who knows who he would end up with. But I don't think I would want him at Arsenal. He's not the answer. PSV Eindhoven and the Netherlands winger Cody Gapo has revealed his fondness for Arsenal as he continues to be linked with a host of Premier League clubs, including Manchester United and Liverpool. Cody Gakpo. Now, I can't say I've seen this player play live. Or let alone, well, nowhere near life. I can't say I've seen him play before or seen any highlights for me to suggest that he will be a success for Arsenal, let alone whatnot. But we shall see what goes on, you know. I mean, the obvious areas we need to strengthen is, is um, a right back, another creative deep line midfield player 
and the two strikers. That's where we need to strengthen. Mm. Senior figures at Inter Milan are now more open to 28-year-old Chelsea and Belgium striker Romelu Lukaku returning to the club. Well, he started off brightly um, at the beginning of the season and then as the season grew, he just seemed to fade away. The goals are faded. He's, um, uh, he's, he's, his starting um, ratio has faded. If you think about him, I thought he would have been one of the successes of the Premier League and he would have represented Chelsea as great as possible in terms of the way that he performs, his movement. But it just hasn't happened for him and I just can't understand why. If he does return to Inter Milan, then I wish him all the best. But it wouldn't surprise me if he makes that decision. Former Brighton technical director Dan Ashworth is being prevent prevented from taking up his new post as sporting director at Newcastle with the Seagulls demanding five million to release him from gardening leaf. Really? Five million? Come on, Newcastle, just cough it up. It's only f it's five million to you now. You got a multi billionaire owner. Come on, cough it up. Let the man move on. He's done his time. I mean, Brighton. Hang on. Newcastle, just cough up the money. Let him... Just give Brighton the money so he can then move on from Brighton and become your sporting director. I don't know what's going on there. Leicester City are keen on FC Mainz Dutch defender Jeremia St. Justy. Never heard of this guy. I can do a lot of research just to get hold of certain players. Ajax Netherlands midfielder Ryan Grevenberch has agreed personal terms with Bayern Munich. Well, if Bayern Munich um, spot a talent they, and at that age, they must be a specific reason why they want to sign this guy and why they have um, persuaded him to agree personal terms. There must be a reason. Bayern Munich, they always seem to find a gem. At such a young age of maybe 16 to 19 years of age. So overall, they know they have um, spotted the gem and they've convinced him to agree personal terms. Right, reading on. Buffalo I believe they have a good chance of signing Bayern Munich and Poland striker Robert Lewandowski this summer, according to Sport. And I'm going to read um, a couple more here. Well, before I do, let's talk about um, Lewandowski. Um, he's coming to the tail end of his career, 33 years of age, but still effective. Would he want to go over to Barcelona and um, find out that the system or the, gr the grass is not greener than, greener than other um, grasses? That's a mystery there. France striker Kylian Mbappe is likely to sign a new deal at Paris Saint-Germain despite interest from Real Madrid. For some reason, I don't believe he will sign a contract extension. He wants the Real Madrid move. That's what I believe. Why would he turn down Real Madrid? He knows they're heavily interested in him and they've got all the packages um, lined up for him. And I believe he'll be a Real Madrid player um, in the near future. I'm not saying soon soon, but I'm saying he'll be a Real Madrid player in the near future. You mark my words. Read one more here. Leeds defender Luke Aiden says he wants to spend the rest of his career at the club. Well, he looks like he's enjoying his football, enjoying being a Leeds United player, captain, I believe, and uh, he's got to be one of the most, if not the most popular figures in the changing room. Leeds United fans, you can um, vouch for me on that one. Anyway, let's wrap this up and say ladies to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. And as I always say, saving the best to last. Thank you for putting up with me. I'll be here again, um, hopefully tonight, if not tomorrow um, afternoon or evening, especially um, with my Arsenal v Brighton over Albion preview. Until... Next time, just remember to take care of your friends, take care of your families, take care of yourselves. Peace, love and bless again. Until next time, that's what I meant to say um, towards the end.
the LG Red Pink will talk again. So just please be nice.